Welcome back to another video from Lord Gizmo. In today's video, you will watch the fascinating transformation of this old moped scooter into a beastly e-bike that can carry not one, not two, but seven people. So grab your favorite seat, relax, and join us on this insane journey of creativity and engineering. Let's start by dismantling this old moped scooter, exposing every nut, bolt, and gear. It's like performing surgery, but with a way cooler vibe. There, this creator got a BLDC motor controller and a DC-DC converter. He will integrate these electric components with the solar system. But first, the bike will be transformed according to the design plan. From the frame, he removes its front wheel, including the handlebar and suspension as one unit. On the other hand, the rear side wheel and each of its components are dismantled individually. These rectangular tubes made of steel are favorites of gearheads and DIY enthusiasts. They use these hollow steel rods to build the vehicle frame. They are easy to cut and weld and easily available in various sizes and thicknesses. But don't forget to wear special masks before welding, as apart from sparks and fumes, the intense light emitted from welding gives serious damage to eyes. He is now separating the handlebar from the rest of the wheel system to facilitate its welding to the frame. A small part of the rear side of the frame needs to be trimmed off to integrate the wheel components taken from the original scooter. This kind of work requires a profound understanding of mechanical systems. Homemade Creative shares their project videos with assurance. They excel not only at tinkering with mechanical components, but also at skillfully repurposing intricate electronic parts. Watch their videos to discover innovative ways to use electric hand tools, create clever home projects, and explore the world of DC motors. Before moving forward, make sure to subscribe to this channel.
wooden board will be used as a seat for passengers. Therefore, we must wrap it in a cover to give it a stylish, sleek appearance. Then, he creates joints to bolt the seat to the bike frame. From these cut steel tube sections, foot pegs will be crafted, allowing passengers to comfortably rest their feet while riding the bike. The bike also needs a strong side stand to provide reliable support when parked. A sturdy side stand is essential for keeping the motorcycle upright and stable. crafting T-shaped frames from steel pipe, designed to serve as handlebars for passengers seated behind the driver. Since the foot peg part is hollow, like a bone structure, fastening this wood will enhance the foot grip. Next, you can paint the frame to enhance its appearance, while also improving its resistance to corrosion. Now, it is time to give some electronic components to this bike, such as this digital speedometer, a brushless DC motor controller, and a DC-DC converter. As its name suggests, a brushless DC motor controller precisely regulates the motor's speed, torque, and direction by adjusting the voltage and current supplied to the motor's windings. On the other hand, a DC-DC converter converts direct current from one voltage level to another, enabling efficient power management in modern electronics. The 
bike is powered by a 48 volt battery with a substantial capacity of 30 ampere hours, ensuring reliable and long lasting performance. After mounting the electric components on the bike, the wires are carefully connected to ensure they function properly. installs the remaining bike components, including the accelerator, clutch, and brake levers, and horn. Then, he constructs an additional frame section to support solar panels. which will generate electricity and provide shade for the passenger. A controller is needed to efficiently charge the battery using the solar panel's energy. After the seats are mounted and final adjustments are made, the seven-seater e-bike is complete and ready to ride. Let's ride it. What are your thoughts on this bike? Please share them in the comments below. For more content like this, you are welcome to like and subscribe. We will see you next time.